last month, Johnny and I had planned to go on a cruise, and as much as we were looking forward to a relaxing boat ride, we really wanted to add our spark of adventure to this trip. Our kind of adventure, which includes the unknown excitement, the planning, the research, the camping, the uniqueness, finding that hidden gem, that thrill of amazement of pulling off another grand adventure. Okay, so we picked our friends up, or should I say our friends picked us up from the airport. We did our Walmart run and got our groceries, so we are ready to go camping. But before we do, we found this great little restaurant here at the marina. We're gonna eat something and then head out to the island. We found that spark of adventure with a camping trip to Boca Chita Key. Boca Chita Key is an island off the coast of Miami. It's famous because it was once owned by the famous Honeywell, a rich man of long ago. You see his name on things like thermostats. Hi, I'm Vicky. What's going on? You're you Justin, Justin Hart. We yep. are super excited for you to um, charter us over to Boca. I'm excited to get you guys out. It's beautiful, nice and windy. So you guys have a nice breeze over there. So. Well, we're super excited. We just hope there's camping. Like yeah, yeah. Camping spot. Yeah, I've only seen probably about two people go out so far. Awesome. So. Awesome. Well, let's get loaded up. Let's do it. We were lucky enough to find Justin with Heart Outfitters to charter us to and from the island. Justin was awesome to work with. The ranger had warned us that sometimes charters don't come back to pick up the campers and they're left stranded. But we didn't have to worry with that with Justin. He was perfect. I will link his information below because if you want someone who's going to pick you up, share their knowledge with you, help you load and unload, basically Justin was the perfect charter tour guide that we possibly could have had for this adventure. With this being Labor Day weekend, I was afraid the camping would get booked up, but it did not. However, if you were driving a yacht, you might have a hard time finding a place to park it. Once you arrive to the island, head to the information and registration booth where you'll pick out and pay for your campsite. So we've made it to the island, yay! There is the infamous lighthouse. We hope we can tour that uh, this weekend at some point in time. We have picked um, site number 19 and it's under this nice shady tree, which is gonna be perfect. You're gonna get the wind off the water. You can see the awesome ocean behind us. We're super excited, yay! So we have got our tent all set up and we are headed to the beach or the water to go do some snorkeling. It's going to be so fun. Oh, it's so clear, Ashley. Look at it. super clear you could see so much and then there was so much to explore and um, look at very very cool we were very glad that we um, had packed and wore our water shoes after a fun packed day of snorkeling we were treated to the most beautiful sunset you have ever seen over the lighthouse so cool we had a little dinner and then we played some games until it was time for bed. One, two, three, go. Woo! It is nighttime here on Boca Chita Key and there's been a few things that's been very interesting. With number one, if you're camping in a tent, be aware that every yacht, big or small, has a generator and not all of them are quiet generators. Also, there are ants like that are digging their way through China up to Boca Chita Key to consume everything inside. Fire ants, so bring some kind of bug spray. That are bug ant, ant spray. It has been a fabulous day. 
Good morning. You're, you're, in this, you're in this beautiful <laughs> tropical island. It's still beautiful and I have coffee. It's very beautiful. And it's beautiful. And we have coffee. Today on the agenda, we're gonna do a little hike around the island. There's a hiking trail. We're also going to do some fishing. The boys are heading off now to take the fishing poles out. Um, some more snorkeling. There is a sunken ship over there that we're gonna try to get to and then maybe do the lighthouse tour. The boys had no luck at fishing. They didn't catch not one thing. However, we did see people in the same area catching sharks. When Honeywell owned Boca Cheetah, they'd have these big parties. So Honeywell built the lighthouse, obviously. So if you look at it, there's some things about it that um, you know you start picking out. It's not very tall, so it's not tall enough to be an actual lighthouse. It's on the wrong side of the island, and even if it was on the other side of the island, between here and the shipping lanes and then the, the, uh, the Gulf Stream out there, you have the coral reef. And so a lighthouse here would actually draw ships across the reef and actually cause problems, right? So this was never a functional operational lighthouse. He built this because he was rich and he could and he wanted it. Glorified lawn ornament. There's not a set time for the ranger to give a talk. However, if you're there during the time the ranger's there, they love to share their knowledge of the island with you and allow you to go into the lighthouse climb the mini stairs to the very top, which was something very unique and I'm so glad we got to do. After the lighthouse tour, we decided to take off on the trail um, around the island. It's about a half a mile trail around the island. The other end of the island was very heavily bug infested, mosquito infested, so bring your mosquito spray. Be sure to plan for pop-up showers. We had a couple of those. They kind of cooled everything down, but just make sure you plan to bring tarps and things to cover up, things you don't want to get wet. We're getting a little rain shower. Had to cover everything up, but it's all part of the journey. It actually feels really good because it's getting super hot. So, just a tip. If you pack an emergency, emergency blankets, they are great when you're out camping to wrap up your luggage or your stuff you didn't want to get wet. Hang out over here under the trees. These pop-up showers brought the most beautiful rainbows here at the island that could be seen over the lighthouse. They were absolutely fabulous. We have snorkeled all day. It has been a blast. We are just putting on some briskets here to cook some camp briskets. That's um, charcoal. So basically charcoal, but brisket sounds fancy. So anyway, the boys got the grill going. Now they're chillaxing over there. And we are having camp pizza tonight. It's gonna be super yummy. So um, let me show you how we do that. So this is how we're making our pizzas, camp pizzas. We crisp up the tortillas. We had some uh, pizza sauce. We have pepperonis and cheese and bacon and onions and peppers. So yummy. Oh, Parmesan cheese too. Parmesan, perfect camp cheese. We do have the other cheese, but this is what happens when you run out of ice um, on your cheese. It gets a little melty. Just sitting and enjoying the sunset one last time here on Boca Chita Key. It has been a blast. You guys, if you enjoy camping, you should come out here. 
Hart Outfitters. Um, Justin Hart brought us out here. He is fabulous. He's kept in touch with us to see if we needed anything, offered other services. It's been super cool. So I would suggest using him. He's very reasonable on pricing. And yeah, this has been so fun. I'm so glad I found this fun adventure and we could do it before we go on a cruise. But just to let you know, when we get on our cruise tomorrow morning, uh, we gonna be grungy. We gonna be camping grungy because there's no showers out here, but that's okay. It was well worth the adventure, every single bit of it. A beautiful sunset again over the island, which led to a pretty interesting evening. We learned that if you have trouble out on the island, you can call 911. Apparently, two of the yachts got into an argument, or the people on the yachts, and someone called the police on them, so the boat police came out to fix it. The rest of the night was fairly quiet and uneventful. We did move our tents to the opposite side of the island from where the yachts were, and it was much quieter. The last morning, we fixed some coffee and got packed up and ready for our cruise. We hope our little adventure here will spark adventure, and if you're ever in Miami, check out Boca Cheetah Key. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for other sparks of adventure.